Okay, now our, our, uh, I, I think we hear it a lot. People use the, the term OCD all the time. I'm so OCD. I'm so OCD. And I think it comes from a, a compulsion that we all have to completely be misinformed about it. To change that mindset, we bring you to Ignite Denver 17. Please give it up to Mary Cooner. So my name is Mary, and I'm perfectly normal, and I have a perfectly normal mental illness. And this is exactly, my friend Jean-Luc here is showing you exactly how I feel every time someone says, oh my god, I am so OCD, I cannot stand it when someone puts my bare naked ladies behind my sugar ray. That's not what OCD is. That's not the reality of having OCD. It's not a matter of just wanting things really, really organized. Um, the reality of OCD happened to me about 10 years ago. I started developing massive anxiety. I worried constantly about everything. My brain was filled with what ifs. What if something happens because I forgot to do something or if I did something wrong? That's all that I could think about. And so I worried about that I had left the stove on was gonna burn the house down. I worried that I had lit a candle and was gonna burn the house down. I worried um, that I was going to cook food for someone and somehow contaminate it without my knowledge. And, and I worried about hitting people with my car. So I developed a little mantra that I would say to myself that would help me feel better. And it was no oven, no stove, no coffee maker, no iron, no curling iron, no candles. The problem is, is that I couldn't say it to myself just once. I had to say it over and over and over again, but my brain did not believe that it was true. And my poor family got to listen to me call them five times a day, crying to reassure me that everything was fine. I did, was not going to burn my house down. I hadn't left a candle lit, when I hadn't lit, actually not lit any candles at all. So the problem with OCD is that you know you're crazy. You know all this stuff that's going on in your head is not reality, but you cannot make it stop. So you develop the checks, you develop the ways to make yourself feel better, but they don't help, that's the problem. So um, thank God I had good health insurance because I was able to get help. I went to see a therapist who then referred to me to a psychologist who just who finally diagnosed my OCD and she gave me this book and it was like the clouds parted and the angels sang because it described exactly what I felt. It was me in that book. And then I knew my mental illness was normal. Oh, it was such a relief to know that. Well, I'm gonna tell you a little more about uh, OCD in general, but I'm not a doctor, I don't play one on TV. I am a librarian though, so I did Google the shit out of this, so. <laughs> I do know some stuff. <laughs> um, there, there are two parts to OCD, of course, the obsessions. Those are the unwanted thoughts, the worries, the anxieties that just keep coming back in your head and you cannot make them go away. Um, and there's lots of different kinds of those. But then to, to alleviate the stress of those anxieties, you develop the compulsions, the, the checks, the things that are supposed to make you feel better and reassure you that everything is fine. But the problem is, is those checks work for a very short period of time, and then the worries come back. They don't help. That's why people check over and over and over again. And there's lots of different kinds of OCD. I'm lucky that I don't have the hoarding thing, and if anyone you know, saw my place, they'd probably know. I'm not, also, I'm not, not organized either, but um, I know how those people are feeling. They physically can't get rid of that stuff. They think something bad's gonna happen if they do. There are the checkers, like me, who have to check things over and over again. There are the washers who wash their hands all the time because they worry they're gonna contaminate themselves or others. They are the orderers, the people who have to, like Monk on TV, who has to touch everything or put everything in order or count everything. And then the most fun for me was the imaginary hit and run where I would drive past somebody who was walking on the sidewalk and I thought that somehow without my knowledge I had hit them and so I'd have to go around the corner and check and make sure they weren't lying in the middle of the street and then I'd have to do it again and do it again. So why did this happen to me? Well, doctors aren't so sure they know why OCD comes about. They think it's a combination of genetics and brain chemistry. But luckily for me, they do know how to treat it. It's an illness and I got treatment and through a combination of medication and something called cognitive behavioral therapy, I live a pretty normal life. I can deal with the anxiety. I know when the OCD is happening and I'm pretty normal. But people like Tom Cruise think it's okay to judge others because they make treatment choices for mental illness. And that causes the rest of us to feel ashamed. 
and nobody should feel ashamed for having a mental illness. It is an illness. That's why I'm talking to you about it today. It's an illness and you can get treatment for it. You should not feel ashamed because you have a mental illness. Um, so shut up, Tom Cruise. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Um, so there you have it. I'm perfectly normal and I have a perfectly normal mental illness.